Another aspect that, that I notice now more than ever is teenage panhandlers. You can see them down any down these, not regular panhandlers. Have you seen the teenage panhandlers out in front of the record store? Couldn't he change? What? Couldn't he change? Some 17 year old kid, bunch of tattoos, leather jacket, pierced nose. Couldn't he change? Yes. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, there are people in this country who need help, who should get help, people that don't have jobs, that should get jobs or training, and then there are these goodney change. I mean, I don't want to come off as grumpy old Mr. Gould, but I thought it took time to become a bum. I didn't know you could rock it right into it. You have to attain grace before you fall from it. You can't retire until you've worked. But they all have an ethic, they all have the heroes, Trent Reznor, Nine Inch Nails, Rage Against the Machine, they all have the tattoos, they all have the t-shirts, but have you noticed, none of your heroes are with you today? Trent Reznor is not hanging out in front of the record store? Maybe he's at work. <laughs> Trent Reznor is a professional musician. He gets paid millions of dollars every year to sing Up the System to you. He takes that money and spends it on other businesses creating an economy. This essential exchange of goods and services is the very backbone of the system that you claim to not want to be a part of, so I can't give you my money. I'm not going to infect you with my dirty capitalist money. I'm not going to be a snake that lures you out of the Eden-like paradise of sidewalk living. Homeless people have no choice. You have a choice. You're not homeless. You're always home. Don't get me wrong, I love America, you know. I was in, I went to Europe last summer, I performed in Edinburgh, Scotland, fulfilled a lifelong dream of being heckled in Gaelic, you know. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Dana Gould from America. Scree! <laughs> what? Scree! Scree! What? F T R A S P E M E R G E P A S T A R Everything over there ends in a strangled bastard. And you take this woman to be your lovely wedded wife. Ugh, I cursed you. I knew you all my life. I love you, girl. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> and now pronounce your man and wife, you flipping swords. <laughs> that country is so old, everything is haunted there. You know? Oh, that castle's haunted. I just bought this postcard. Eh, it's a haunted postcard. <laughs> believe in haunted houses because the way I think of it if the White House is not haunted no house will ever be haunted <laughs> when you think of all the stuff that's gone down in that building if that place isn't haunted forget it it'd be great if it was haunted though because you could identify the ghosts you know Kennedy walking around at three in the morning boo I am a ghost boo the toilet's flushing and there's no one there aren't you scared <laughs> what if you died and you went to hell and it was exactly what you thought it would be oh my God. and the devil really was this jackass in a red leotard with a pitchfork <laughs> wouldn't you feel stupid <laughs> this is it yeah, screw you, I'm the devil, screw you! <laughs> this is it? Yeah! For people who are so afraid of the devil, why is it that when people are possessed by the devil, we always have them exercised? Think of what we could learn by having the devil around. Just take him out with you. I am the Lord, the devil is unholy and evil. I don't like roller coasters, I'll wait here, you go on ahead. Oh, come on, 
it's fun. Fly off. I'm still evil. The devil hates roller coasters. Put all churches in amusement parks. We'll be fine. You guys have been great. Thank you very much. The end.